Trigger finger placement. Let's discuss. There's a common belief out there, uh, and has been for many years, that trigger finger placement on the trigger is important. It's something that's even taught by some instructors, and it is commonly something that I see mentioned in online forums uh, and in help groups when people are trying to help diagnose shooting problems. Well, one way that we can determine whether there is truth in this or not is to use an analysis tool like the Mantis X10, which is what I have mounted on my P320 here. Uh, the Mantis product allows me to gather very precise data as, the, as to the movement of my gun in the precise moment that I press the trigger. All right, so what we're gonna do, this will be really simple and straightforward, is we're going to do, uh, we're gonna do sets of five trigger presses, and we're going to use three different trigger finger placements on the trigger. We're going to do what is traditionally taught in many circles these days, which is kind of the center or the pad of, the, of that first joint or knuckle of the, of the finger. Then we're gonna try one where we put the trigger finger pretty much on the tip there on the face of the trigger. And then we're gonna do it where we stick my finger in as far as I can do so and press the trigger using that method as well. All right. So uh, I have the, again, the Mantis uh, X software loaded up here on this tablet. And so we'll just see what kind of data this thing spits out. Um, let's see. Excellent. All right. So again, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you before I do this. I'm gonna show you the placement of my finger. Okay, for these five shots. All right. And I'm not aiming at anything in particular. My goal here is just to hold the gun as still as I can as I press the trigger. All right. Here we go. Here's one. There's one. Ninety-one point one. Ninety-three point nine. Ninety-four point six. Ooh, that one was rough. Apparently, didn't feel that bad. Seventy-seven. Eighty-nine point nine. Okay. All right. So let's take a look at that. It'll give me an average of eighty-nine point three. Again, we did have one pretty big outlier, 77. Uh, so 89-ish was my average, okay? All right, so let's do it again now. Tip of the finger. Okay, here we go. So I'm gonna go ahead and orient it this way so that Mantis knows that I am taking shots. Here we go. Uh, that one was actually a bit of a surprise. Let's get up, there we go, 84.8. Here we go, tip. Ninety-four point seven. Eighty-eight point nine. Eighty-four point seven. Ninety-one point six. Oh, another flyer. Seventy-nine point two. Average of 87.3, so like two points lower than when I was using the pad of the finger. All right. Okay, let's do it now with digging my finger as far into the trigger guard as I can. Here we go. Five shots. Oh, didn't, didn't reset. Here we go. Here we go. 85.6. 85.7. Ninety-five, eighty-nine point four, ninety-one point one. Average ninety point six. So, what do we learn from this? Um, obviously, we'd need more data to. We could do this hundreds of times to get 
a little bit, well, maybe not even hundreds, but we could do say 50 iterations of uh, each of those three different trigger presses. And that'd give us a lot more accurate of a sample, but, uh, or a broader sample for more accurate data. But I've done this uh, before and every time I do it, it, it tends to be, in fact, I've had it where one method was a little bit better than other. I've seen it go back and forth. Um, so in my mind, when I do this using these three different trigger presses, it's about the same. All right, we're within a couple of points of each other. And keep in mind, this is single-handed, right? Why don't we do a couple of trigger presses two-handed and I will just do a couple with, uh, I'll do like three, I think, of each, each style, just so we get a little bit of a sample of that, okay? So here's pad of the finger, okay? 95.3. Ninety-three point seven, ninety-seven point six. Average of that, ninety-five point six. Okay. Tip of the finger, two-handed. Ninety-one point four. Ninety-three point six. 95, 93.4, okay? And let's do finger all the way into the trigger guard, two-handed grip, 91.1, one. 93.3, 95.1. See, we get similar numbers again, guys. Um, the thing that makes the biggest difference with trigger control, as people like to talk about, is your grip. It's all in the grip. Uh, and most of your grip or most of the work of your grip should be done by your support hand. And the support hand has literally nothing to do with the pressing of the trigger. Uh, keep in mind that, you know, if you're looking at my scores and going, oh man, Riley sucks, uh, I'm not putting a lot of um, focus into this because I'm obviously focused on making a video. I'm also using a very compromised position as I'm trying to hold things in front of the camera. Uh, either way, if I had run this uh, in a more comfortable position or not concerned about doing the camera, the, the results again continue to be pretty much on par from one technique to another, okay? What's more important is that one, okay, my grip holds everything as still as I can. All right, number two, when I'm looking through my sights, I'm relying upon those sights and the feedback they give me. As I'm finishing the shot, I'm staying on those sights and I'm making minute adjustments as I see deviations in the sights or in my dot, in the case of my red dot, okay? So, and you can do those two things with whatever trigger uh, placement technique that you, that you choose to use, all right? Obviously, this doesn't take into account people with various handicaps or impairments of their fingers, hands, digits. Maybe you've got arthritis, whatever. There's, there's all kinds of factors that could make differences for, for unique uh, personal circumstances. But in as a general rule, finger placement on the trigger doesn't matter as much as people like to see, say that it is or that it does. Okay? So there you go. There's some actual data that... In my opinion, because again, I've tested it multiple times this way, shows that it really doesn't matter. What matters most is gripping and holding the gun steady as you press that trigger, relying upon instant feedback visually through your sight picture. All right, thanks for watching.